Today, I'll be talking about a problem that's only getting bigger. I know you must be wondering why. Isn't there a solution? I am Anirudh Sharma, co-founder and CEO at Digantra. Digantra is an Indian Institute of Science incubated company developing solutions for space traffic management and space situational awareness. We're building world's first in-situ sensor to track and map object in space from space. How did we start this? It all started back in 2017 when we were students. At that point in time, it was really difficult for us to establish credibility in the market to build a company. We started with a student team building a nano satellite for ISRO student satellite launch program. The first opportunity that we got was to participate in a conference organized by Indian Space Research Organization in Chandigarh. We presented the research that we had done and we got an award from them. That gave us a moral boost to build something beyond the student team. We started to approach a lot of people across the globe. I personally wrote a lot of cold emails uh, to ask people to support our student team in building a nano satellite. We got few responses back. And one of the responses that we got back was from a South American space agency. So they gave us support initially and then later it, at one point, they also helped us in designing a satellite structure. They wanted us to do it on a commercial basis. We manufactured, designed and manufactured a satellite structure uh, and ex exported it back to them. We got $1,000 and they asked us for an invoice. That's when we had to start this company just to provide an invoice. Uh, we had no other goal apart from building uh, satellite components and providing it to them. In 2018, we started participating in a number of conferences to understand what exactly are the problems faced by the space industry, which we could potentially solve. The first conference that we attended was in 2018, Bremen, Germany, which was called International Astronautical Congress. So that's when we heard people talk about space sustainability, space junk, or space debris. We looked around. The solutions that were there today were all ground-based, which can potentially track objects up, up to 10 centimeters. Lower than that is still something that has not been solved. So we track around 96% of the objects in space are untracked. 4% of these objects are tracked. Space Race started in 1957 by Russia. Russia launched Sputnik. Since then, till now, we have over 8,000 launches, just 3,000 active satellites in the orbit. You can imagine the amount of junk that we've created in space. Hence, there is an importance to track these untracked objects and build a sustainable space environment. We started this company in 2018 due to the invoice that we had to generate and take money from them, which helped us in building this com company's foundation. And later, we started working around the research to build a space-based technology to track and map objects from space so that we can track these untracked objects and provide an accurate catalog of what happens in space and thus space map service. In the year 2019, we were selected as one of the top eight best startups in the world by the International Astronautical Federation Committee to present at uh, International Astronautical Congress in Washington, DC. We presented our solution there, which was just a research. At that point in time, we realized that there is a commercial essence to what we were building. That's when we thought, why not we start a company and work around a commercial solutions for space situational awareness or solving this problem. We were one of the early entrants into this market when we started a solution or building a solution, something like this. We patented this solution. That's when we got credibility. But even after that, we had difficulties in the initial phases because as an undergraduate student, it's really difficult to convince people to invest in you. So those were the times when we were looking out for a place or an incubation center that can support us in the initial phase of our development. We looked around and we thought uh, the best place for us to get incubated is the Indian Institute of Science. So currently we are incubated at uh, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. They provided us with initial capital to start building the solution. Post that, um, uh, we, we started building the solution. We had no team because we didn't have enough money to pay for people, but uh, develop our technology. So initially it was all about building credibility about the solution that we are trying to build also as founders. Post which 
uh, we looked at uh, venture capital investment and today we have funded uh, by a VC. Uh, we have raised $2.5 million in capital. Today we are a team of 11, in, including people from Indian Institute of Space Technology, Indian Space Research Organization, who are building this technology and wanting to launch this technology to space as, as soon as possible. So currently uh, we're looking at a solution which can co complement the current ground-based infrastructure to build more high accurately or high accurate map of what happens in space. Thus provide space operation support for all the space companies out there. So the solution that we're looking at building here is uh, two technologies basically. The first one is a LiDAR technology and the second one is a technology towards space weather monitoring. A combination of these two technologies can suffice the definition of space situational awareness. Hence, a combination of these two technologies will be launched in a CubeSat. Uh, this CubeSat will uh, be launched soon to space with which we'll be able to get data sets of both space weather and space object tracking. And thus launching a constellation of such satellites in the lower Earth orbit will be able to complement the current infrastructure by our space-based infrastructure and get more number of data sets. Like I said, the problem that we are solving here is uh, to track the objects that are untracked, 96% of those objects which are untracked with our technology. Uh, the goal is to build a platform, something similar to Google Maps, but for space. Uh, the idea is to uh, you know uh, provide solutions like finding gas stations in space for a company who are who is launching uh, uh, fuel stations to space and wants to refuel the satellite. So this is the goal of what we are doing today and the technology that we are building here at Digantara. The solution that we are building here at Digantara was inspired uh, from the aviation segment. So when we looked at the problem uh, back in 2018 at the conference in, in Bremen, uh, we felt that why not we develop a solution, something similar to what aviation industry has. But there are a lot of difficulties here. Uh, you know, it's not pretty straightforward here because uh, we don't have air spaces. It's all space, space, and there is no jurisdiction in space. Uh, so to have a coordinated traffic management system for space is something uh, that has not been done by the governments at this point in time. And for a private company like us, that's difficult. Hence, we have to collect more number of uh, data sets for us to build a comprehensive uh, solution for space traffic management. That's when we came up with an idea, not only to deploy our own satellites, but also get data from other sources. So today we have some agreements with a couple of governments to provide or get access to such data sets that are tracked by the ground-based systems. And when we merge and superimpose the data that we get from the space-based systems, we can enhance the quality of the data by certain extent and provide these data sets to several uh, stakeholders in the space industry, including defense. So the solution that we are developing um, at the Gantra has a lot of importance even for the defense industry and for the commercial sector looking at how uh, there is a boom in the space industry. So we are undergoing a massive transformation in the space industry where every enterprise on earth wants to leverage the power of space technology. And in future, this would become something very important including uh, 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 human space flight or space tourism. Hence, uh, such a solution is very important to the space industry and I would like to end my words uh, by saying three important points. Uh, point number one, our lives right now are completely dependent on satellite capabilities in the orbit. Uh, from the messages that we exchange today and the GPS that we use for navigation and phone calls that we make, internet, whatnot, everything is dependent directly or indirectly on satellite services. Two, the orbit on which we all are dependent on is at risk. Three, the time is right for a private sector contribution for a solution to this particular problem. Hence, the solution uh, like this for space traffic management becomes crucial for the growth of space industry.